All right, Uncle Sam FM here. This is episode 20. This is the NCAA Championship Edition of my American Football 19 series. I'm going for the second consecutive national championship. Um, doesn't happen often, but I remember a team back in, the, in Virginia in the 90s under actually Bruce Arita won four in a row. So um, I, this will be my last match with Michigan State, so I'm not going to be able to equal that record. But um, yeah, <clears throat> very exciting. I um, I actually did do a live comp for all the other tournament matches in the NCAA, but I decided that um, I was just I was just going to show the last one as a, as an episode, and I made it all the way to the final. Um, struggled a little bit with Davidson in Manhattan in the second round, and then in the uh, round of sixteen. But got to the quarterfinal, sort of, um, I don't know, figured things out a little tactically and how to handle some of these matches and um, ran away with it. Um, teams do definitely play differently in, in the NCAA tournament than they do the regular season, which makes sense is it's a cup match, right? So um, so this will be uh, my last match with Michigan State. Uh, very exciting. I uh, And moving on, I already have accepted and coached, as you guys saw the last couple episodes, a couple matches with the under-20s for the USA, and I'm going to focus on that after this last match with Michigan State. Um, So what I I thought I'd also show in this episode, because this is the 2022 World Cup and it's taking place in Qatar, they did move it in the winter in-game, so I thought let's, you know, kind of get a look on uh, how the World Cup's going. Um, And... <clears throat> probably saw a little spoiler there but we'll we'll just we'll go right back to the group stage um <clears throat> group a colombia and mexico advanced over uh egypt and qatar the host so qatar no big shocker didn't show super well they did get a draw against egypt <clears throat> but uh, they were eliminated argentina and iran advanced over ivory coast and romania i think that's i don't remember Iran ever having made it out of the group stage at the World Cup, so uh, this would be a milestone for them. Uh, England won their group, and then Tunisia managed to um, put out both South Korea and Portugal. Um, slight surprise there. Brazil had won their group, and then Norway um, came through a three-team log jam at three points thanks to goal differential. And then uh, Group E was our group, the United States. <clears throat> They um, actually drew Spain in the first match and then got wins over Greece and Australia, but Spain won the group on goal differential, so, um, but the U.S. advanced. Italy and Holland, uh, no big surprise, got out of their group, which included Canada and Peru. Canada did get a win over Purdue, so, or Peru, so um, good showing for them, for the Canucks, um, and then France wins Group G, Group G, but Wales also advanced. So Wales, a bit of a surprise team there, but they're probably benefited from Algeria and Jamaica being the other two group opponents. And then Germany and Uruguay uh, advanced out of Group H over UAE and Poland. So that took us to the second round where Iran, <clears throat> another big surprise, um, on penalties eliminated Colombia. And then Mexico on penalties eliminated Argentina. So a um, little surprise there. I don't think Mexico has ever gotten to the quarterfinal. Uh, Norway ousted England 2-1. Surprise result there a little bit. Um, Brazil over Tunisia. Holland eliminated Spain. And then the U.S. with a really shocking 4-1 to win over Italy. Um, we'll go back to that in a second. But France uh, eliminated Uruguay and then Germany over Wales. But <clears throat> the U.S.A., in this match, it looks like it was all one-sided, right? Um, the U.S. was up 3 nothing before Italy finally got a goal, and then Eric Palmer Brown made it 4-1. But when you look at the stats, as you can see there, um, you look at the full stats, Italy had way more shots. <laughs> they had they had more shots on target than the U.S. had shots overall. So, it, But also the U.S. dominated possession, so it kind of feels like what happened is and and maybe it changed after a goal or two but italy sort of was allowing the u.s to possess the ball and then trying to hit on the counter and the u.s was obviously much more clinical um but again it could just be that once italy got down they just started throwing everything forward and uh, the u.s took advantage so anyway um shock result there is the u.s advances past italy at in the second round they go to the quarterfinal brazil defeated iran Mexico and penalties again puts out Norway so they'll advance to the semifinal 
and the U.S. was eliminated. If France uh, won uh, the quarterfinal matchup there, three to one, and then they were still waiting on Holland versus Germany. But um, interesting tournament so far um, at the World Cup. So, but with that said, let's go ahead and head to our um, big match with with San Diego in the NCAA Championship College Cup final. Um, San Diego State or San Diego is a pretty good team. We have a couple players, but their best player is actually injured, which kind of helps me out. Uh, I do have a player injured. Caesar Clark is my starting right back. So I've had to bring in um, uh, Jacob, or I think Jacob Ramirez, to play to start it right back. Um, so hopefully uh, that won't that won't be the uh, my downfall having that injury. Uh, but Ramirez is a capable right back. I don't. I'm not too worried. As you guys have watched throughout this my time with Michigan State, I sub pretty much the whole team every match. So I'll probably do that again today. Um, I don't know. I guess I like having fresh legs out there. Um, but I, of course, Michigan State. I am white, green, green, white shirt, uh, green shorts and socks. San Diego State has kind of a sky blue. Uh, top with uh, navy shorts, navy blue shorts, and then white socks. So, <clears throat> so we'll see how things go in the early running. Um, one thing I've I've been doing in the last couple of matches is I've made a, an early change when I kind of get a, a look at how the opponent is playing me. And in the other two matches, it it worked almost to perfection. So, but we'll see. I'm gonna let it play out a little here with my. Uh, default setup just to make sure <clears throat> don't like to make changes just to make changes I have a I have a tactic that I feel is pretty good and I'll um, I don't like changing it unless I, I really you know kind of have to um, yeah, I'll make some ooh, that's not a penalty house corner I'll make some pre-match changes every once in a while but uh, one thing that I fear happens is you Oh, kind of get it into quicksand <laughs> so that you're um, and by that what I mean is you, you start making a change and the more you struggle the more changes you make the further away you get from your, your standard you know your your regular style of play and the worse you're actually making things so so let me just start with my regular setup and then see what I need to do and so far we're not doing too bad they got a set piece that gave them a couple chances down the other end, but right now I feel like it's all right. Um, although my passing in the back is not great, and what I usually do there, of course I get the first yellow. And we'll go ahead and make the... Um, <clears throat> I, if I'm not... Be, if I'm not... If my backs are being pressured and they're not passing, and I'm not passing well... I go ahead and remove my play out of defense and really just to give them more options. <clears throat> All right, Bryant wins that to Johnson, who's had a very good tournament. Oh, ho, ho, more. You know, more has been a big disappointment to me. He's one, he's, he's got some of the best ratings and you can see that of any of my players but he really has not produced very much <clears throat> Jones shot couldn't squirt it through so we are still scoreless see and then just get yeah get it on the floor let's go Reese Lays it back to Ramirez, who gets a cross, but it's blocked for a corner. <clears throat> Johnson crosses it in, but Hannigan picks it out the air, and we're going the other way. Not much going on now. Here we go. Johnson's shot goes out. Radford. Word with Brian, of course. Brian's another, I don't know, I don't want to say he's a disappointment, but I don't get much out of him at the fullback position. I, I 
But, uh, you know, if you've watched any of the episodes, (laughs) I've always known that he's not the... He's not Danny Elvez. He's more of a defender. And now we're just... Let's see how many cards we can get before the ref blows the freaking whistle for halftime. And two shots there because of that foul. Really not passing well at all. I don't know. I need to. Wonder if let's drop it off a little bit. Maybe that's part of the problem. Is I'm trying to force things in there. Let me go ahead and give him the demand more shout. That'll that way I can I can do at least one more shout before the end of the match. Oh, that was a boring highlight. Come on. Ah, oh, I oh, can't do. That's his second red card. Okay. Uh, here's what I do when I get reds. <clears throat> Drop my striker back. Yeah, I, just, I play without a striker. But I go to my wingers and make sure they're both getting further forward and playing in tight, which they both... The right winger is the only one that I really have to change there. <clears throat> and if you can't tell, I'm uh, I'm really frustrated, but I'm trying not to explode on camera. It's so frustrating, Cantu. I even had him easing off tackles. We got four yellows before their first. And they did make a sub, pulled out a, I guess, a striker. I guess being a man up is causing them to be a little more aggressive. <clears throat> Blocked. Come on, stop with the friggin' fouling. This is the one thing about this level, uh, college soccer, since I've been playing in it here in FM, is uh, the number of cards. It feels like it's just absurdly excessive. tackle for him he's an idiot they got a card uh, yeah, let's leave it at that for now and my control tactic I drop off a little bit and I do I do put on the counter so I feel who I need to change that right winger instruction though get him further forward <clears throat> <clears throat> Johnson to Martinez to Ramirez to Wilson. All right, let's 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 switch it, guys. Come on, there. Oh, are we gonna are we gonna are we gonna be back on level terms? Yes. All right. Thank you. Ref probably felt bad for inserting himself into the game. Okay. 70th minute. I don't think I'm going to hold off on my subs until until we get into maybe into the extra time. Ooh, Johnson. Ooh, thought we were going to get a nice chance there. Alright. 
Right. Yeah, here's where this is lame, where I don't have a striker to press this. I've done different things when I go a man down. <clears throat> but this has been, has had the, I've gotten the, I've actually gotten some wins. Like I've outplayed the opposition using this setup. San Diego has got that, it's a 4-3-2. Well, a 4-3-3 now, yeah, see, they're going to try and come at me, so. <clears throat> we'll see how we how this setup holds against their strategy here. Okay, nice ball. Ramirez puts it in. There it is. Goal. All right. That could be it. That could be the... That could be the national championship winning goal and a nice counter to Martinez. Now, I don't want to overthink. But what do I... I am going to start subbing. Let's start bringing in fresh legs to um, really kind of shore things up I'm not going to sit in field yet he's he's not fit enough for me to trust him right now uh, but you know what everybody else it's it, everybody okay to hold for six minutes and what was this about uh, oh we're going to get rid of his ease off tackles Right. Uh, one thing I, and I told you that I did, um, I don't know, I guess I'm going to try and, this is an intense moment, so I'm going to try and, oh, he's offside, okay. Uh, talk through it to keep myself from getting too wound up, but one of my other videos that I'm not even, I'm not going to be showing because it was one of the previous rounds, I uh, talked about how I would like the ability in FM, and we're, we're heading to FM 2020, so why not talk about changes we'd like to see. But I'd like to have the ability to do some more choreographed movements on corner kicks. Like, I would like to be able to... Well, really, all free kicks. Um, I don't know how else to describe it. Cause I, I coach in real life, and I mean, I'm not like, uh, whatever. It's a really low level here. I'm not, I'm not Pep Guardiola. Uh, I coach at a very small private school. Um, but we... we, we Ooh, we have some very specific movements that we do on 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 set pieces like corner kicks. Oh, I thought ha, he got free on that corner right there. Um, we like to do short corners. I don't have players who can accurately put in a long corner, so because of that, I prefer you know short corners with some very specific movements. And you can't really do much in FM with that. You know, you can have you can say where players start, and there it is. National champions, second year in a row. Even after having a man sent off, we pulled it together. <laughs> Probably got a little lucky that they had a guy sent off. So, uh, second year in a row, uh, we get the national title. Um, took a 84th minute winner from Martinez, a midfielder. But <laughs> you, hey, you do what you got to do. Um, Statistics I don't like when I'm looking at. We only had 52% possession. We were level on shots. Although they did have, let's see, what have eh, about 15 minutes with a man advantage. Still, like it's not. These are not good. Um, passing numbers aren't good. I need to watch this match again and see where things kind of broke down, which I probably will do. But yeah, it did go up. I'll say this: it went up. It was it, both passing from a defense and midfield were in the seventy percent range with about a half hour to go, I think. And I made an adjustment that made that a little better, but that's still low. That's really low. Um, so, but you know, tip of the cap to San Diego. They gave it a go and and almost got it done. So, um, so yeah. Good win for us. Uh, I don't remember what I was talking about. Oh, corner kicks, right? Set pieces, short corners, specific movements. Um, yeah, we've got... Um, and a lot of it kind of depends on what the other team does, and that's probably hard to put in FM, I guess. But I, I would like to, you know, 
I'd like to have some ability to, to modify the choreography. Who goes where rather than just where are they standing when the ball is kicked. Um, so what are your thoughts on that? Um, any other thoughts on FM20? What changes you'd like to see? Um, next, <clears throat> Our next episode, I'll probably pick up at the F- F- Under-20 World Cup. Uh, I don't have any friendlies scheduled right now. Um, I'll schedule some, but friendlies are lame and boring. <laughs> I'm right now just trying to figure out who's going to be on that team. But most of the guys that uh, Tab Ramos had called in for that CONCACAF tournament were not good. So <clears throat> I do need to look at who I'm going to take. But, uh, you know, that probably won't be episode content worthy. So I'll, uh, I'll hold off until the World Cup on that. But this is uh, Uncle Sam FM signing off for my last go-round with Michigan State, and we will see you next time.